Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. Happy Friday. It is not Sunday. Um, I'm actually just packing up kids' pet lunches for the last day of the week. The first, obviously, full week back at school. Kids have done just done really well. Been enjoying it. I've had oh annoying drop-offs and pickups though and um i've just needed help really not really had much choice because alistair goes in drop him down at school for eight and then violet her new time is 8 45 so it is quite a long time in between especially when you've got like an 11 month old obviously wanting to a nap around that time or um you, know, you can't just stay you know stay in the car for 45 minutes so um yeah, Graham's been doing the early eight o'clock, or Graham's mum, and then I've been taking by down with obviously Miles eight for eight forty-five. I'm leaving eight thirty. So um, yeah, and again with the school pickup, it's just again a little bit different, but it's not as bad. So yeah, I hope um, your kids have settled in well. Oh, my two just obviously they've just missed their friends, and just the social side of it is just a big thing, isn't it? Um, yeah all as well and it, actually this week with Miles has been really really nice as well it's just it's been really different obviously just having him but we've done a few things we went to Mama yesterday um we've just ventured to a few places like parks and whatever trying to keep ourselves busy and um I've been to see family with him so yeah it's just been nice and the weather's been really good as well and Oh my god, I can't even believe, like, in a couple of days, he is, well, Monday, he is going to be one years old. I'm still kind of, like, in denial about that, to be perfectly honest. All is well with us. <gasps> yeah. Weather's been incredible, which is always a bonus. And, um, yeah, just getting, getting into our, the swing of our new routine, really. Right, we are back home school runs done oh my god i don't know why it's so stressful even by friday we still haven't got a, like a proper routine down really i need to just go back to how we were before you know lockdown get back into a like a more of an organized school week um routine because Honestly, the kids have been flapping this morning, both of them, getting stressed. We're going to be late, blah, 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 like literally doing things right at the last minute, rushing out the door. <sighs> um, yeah, it's just been a nightmare. You need to go back to what we, what we did previously was everyone had to be ready before we had any screen time. So like, you know, you can't do anything until you're dressed, washed like there was your teeth brushed um got your bags ready had breakfast that sort of thing and then you can just chill because you've done everything and it seems to be totally the reverse at the moment um also i need to seriously start making pet lunches the night before because i'm flapping because i'm doing alistair's first when i can like make my coffee i pretty much do his lunch and then when i get a chance in between then or um, do violet but again it's just a rush because I've got a baby screaming at my ankles 90% of the time while I'm trying to like butter bread with my right hand and I'm left-handed it's just yeah never mind it's just one of those things um anyway today um I'm actually making us some breakfast because I ended up getting distracted this morning and I overcooked Miles' eggs. They were horrible, they were like rubber. I wonder why I didn't eat them. I mean, I wouldn't have eaten them either. So I'm making us some more breakfast. Um, and then, I don't know if he's gonna go down for a nap. He seems tired, he's been up for about two hours now. He may have a nap. So I might just try and fit that in. And then Graham's actually putting our bike, I've got a bike with a bike, baby bike seat. I'm going to put that, Graham's putting that on the car. And I'm going to go to Moores Valley today and have a little bike ride with Miles, which should be really nice. Actually go into the park. He loves the park with the sand. So we might do that for today, take our lunch and just, you know, just spend a couple of hours at Moores Valley. It's basically a free day out. It's, yeah, it's a decent 
decent weather. I also want to make some pizza dough for dinner tonight. So, oh, I need to get some passata as well. And some, I need to get a few toppingy bits. So I need to pop to a random little shop. I might go to co-op or something before the school run. Just to pick up some bits for tonight. It's Friday movie night. I'm going to see actually what movies are on Sky tonight or Netflix. That could be a good one. That's some um, trending number one at the moment. Away, it's 12. Might be suitable. It's like um, a space one. The four. I still haven't seen that. I think that's a series. Um, jungle. Live. That doesn't look suitable. Get organised. Oh, I've heard that's supposed to be so good. I want. I do want to watch that. I've got so much to watch. Honestly, I never. I can't even, I'm still t trying to get through Selling Sunset. At the moment we've been watching 911, which is on Sky Witness. We're on the third series, but we've, years ago, we watched the first and the second series and we've been waiting for the third one to come. And um, yeah, would highly recommend it. So it's very lighthearted and it kind of has their background story of who they are. So you have to watch it from the beginning, otherwise you just won't get the whole, the whole story of their like, kind of fire brigade family. But um, each like event that happens, it's all based on real life things that have happened. So it's quite interesting. And um, some of the things that happen is just unbelievable. Some of them are unbelievable. Like like the last one we just watched is the lady, um, she was just relaxing at home and a meteorite went through her house and went through her stomach which I know sounds completely like not legit, like that didn't happen. It actually happened, like you Google it, it happened. It's the only time it's ever happened, but they kind of base things on true stories. So you can actually Google it and go back and read the actual real story. And this happened, I don't know if it was back in the fifties or something. Yeah, and it's just, um, it's good. It's really lighthearted and it's quite um, emotional as well. Some of the storylines are quite emotional. But yeah, we'd highly recommend it. It's called 911. <sighs> I've got my little munch here. Busy, busy. I've just put Miles down for a nap. He was going a bit mental where he was just tired. He had a bit of eggs and then he was just kind of done. So we'll see how long he's very hit and miss. Sometimes he'll do like crazy two hours and I'm like, whoa, like this is great. And then other times he'll do like half an hour. So, yeah, I'm just going to whiz around try and get a few things done. But as it's Miles' birthday on Monday, I thought I would show you a few bits that I've picked up for Sunday for when we have a few, like, family members over. We're going to do an afternoon tea. I think I've said that. But um, I've just picked up some just birthday bits here and there. Um, so we have... I actually only got these things from B&M recently. So we found these little napkins... I haven't really got a theme as such. I was kind of going just for like green, browns. I'm gonna have to do like a white naked cake sort of thing. Golds. So um, yeah, so I, I just thought they were cute anyway. And then I also got just some white plates. They were 30 for 1.99. Um, I also got this as well, which is gonna be part of a birthday present. I've wanted to get him some cutlery. So that was also from B&M for 2.99. Jungle knife fork and two spoons thought that was a really good value and then from the range i picked up the ivy garland just as like a little i'm gonna i'm probably gonna cut it up a little bit and put it as like cake decoration and maybe some other bits maybe in between a balloon garland or whatever um but yeah i also got this board as well for the cake this was only 3.99 it's exactly what i was looking for but it's kind of um, it looks obviously like chopped wood, but it's not. Um, it's just like a cheap bit of MDF, I would say, but it is quite weighty. Um, so I'm going to put his cake on there. Um, I have this one banner, which I'm going to put on his high chair because we're going to be outside. I'm going to kind of drape it around the front. I will put pictures and stuff on Instagram. I don't plan on filming the day because we have family over. Um, I've got the one cake topper. She, this lady's actually on Instagram as well. But I thought that was really sweet. 
Um, I did get a one balloon, but it does save the helium. I don't have helium, so I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to use that. I thought it was one of those ones where you can just blow it up yourself. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using that one. And then I've just, for the balloon garland, I went for these pearlescent white gold and then a little bit of like light green and then i might stick some ivy for it okay so while i've got some time i'm gonna whip up pizza dough for tonight get that done because otherwise it just won't happen and i'll have to wait probably till graham gets back so at least it has time to kind of rise okay so that is done for later see how small it is it will have all day to rise um and now i'm gonna get our lunch ready to take out with us as well okay i thought i'd quickly show you our lunch for today so we do a lot of sharing but also he loves like nibbly bits so he, one of his favorite snacks at the moment is cut up cheese just little diced cheese so i've just cut some up i've also added a little one of these cheddar cheese biscuits it was broken so i just added that on top so he can literally he can just um, I find these pots really useful. I used these pots originally for weaning. They're on my Amazon shop. Now we use them as snack pots. So when he finishes that, um, I usually... Raisins are also one of his current favourite snacks. Because he obviously still quite little, so trying to get the raisins out of the box is a little bit challenging. Sometimes he ends up like throwing the box or the raisins going everywhere. So most of the time, once he's finished with that, I will tip the raisins into that container as well. And what's good about these containers is that the lids um, stay on. Yogurt, these are the only yogurts I've got in at the moment. So he's got one of the strawberry fru fruits, strawberries, blueberries. He's got an easy peel of orange. He loves oranges. And then we've got wraps like these little mini wraps so i've got a chicken wrap he's got a ham wrap he's got cucumber and then he can have a tomato if he wants to but i obviously don't eat cucumber but i've got tomatoes um this is mine i've got pepperoni a little mini cheese an apple a lot of the time i'll eat the apple and he ends up like finishing the rest off he loves like apples as well to bite on it's a great teething thing as well um, and then I've got some of these chickpea puffs, which we both love. That all just about fits in. He's got his bib there. His little, this is a Skip Hop lunchbox bag. It's quite a nice size. It's not too big, not too small. And that fits in there perfectly. Right, Miles woke up. Um, I've packed up already. I already packed up for while he was asleep. We had about an hour. He clearly doesn't want to be in the car right now but we're only literally just driving down the road and then getting straight into moore's valley um i've got the bike on the back which i must admit i hate having on like i drive like an absolute grandma but it just freaks me out having this on the back but anyway we'll see you when we're there right as you can see we are on our way nearly there actually we had a moment sorry if it's a bit wobbly had a moment where Miles was just got on and he was a bit screamy. Yeah, so we had a moment where Miles was a little bit whiny right at the beginning. And I was like, don't be silly, because he hates wearing his hat. I'm like, you gotta wear your hat. And then I just, he kind of booted me in the back. So I just stopped and I realized his, he's got like a little hat underneath his helmet. So his um, hat, helmet doesn't slip and it was over his eyes. <laughs> and so I felt really bad because he couldn't see. <laughs> Yeah, so he was basically um, just, yeah, his, he couldn't see at all. So his eyes were covered the, like for at least a few minutes, which I feel really bad about because that must have been terrifying being on the back of a bike and not being able to see. Um, but yeah, we've got some Moors Valley. It's like, it's only like a mile and a half anyway to walk it. So to bike it, it's, it's still obviously a mile and a half, but it's just so much quicker. It's only taken us like barely 10 minutes. Um, but I've got a padlock and key, so I'm going to lock the bike up. We're right at the steam trains right now. But I'm going to go in and then we're going to go to the park. Right, we made it. You want to get up? So yeah, he's got his little hat underneath and that was like down on his eyes. So yeah, I'm just going to park the bike, so I've got my bike lock.
Right, right we're having our lunch. Can you see the birds? Bye. <gasps> Lake. Over there. Not too busy. What's next? Keeps popping into that orange. Right, should I open the orange? Look. Get orange? Look at that sky. You can see he threw his tomato, his orange. Really good throw. He's waiting for the ducks, seagulls, to come grab them. He's got a good throw on him. Come you. Mister. Mm. What are you doing? Bear. Bear's head came off the other day. You can see it's very loose. Poor old bear. Isn't it? <laughs> the cheeky yeah. face. Yep. Where's Penguin? Where's Where's your big duck? Where's your big duck? Graham calls him Big Duck when he's Penguin. Your big duck. Ah. Uh, kisses. You know, so we are home. It's oh, it was such a good day, and I didn't. I was I was worrying that I was going to struggle with obviously getting the bike on and off the bike rack, but it was absolutely fine. Um, oh, Miles for giving me, giving me like proper biscuit kisses. I feel like I've got biscuit crumbs all over my face. Yeah, we've had a really good day. It's after two now, so we have to get the kids very, very soon. Um, he's knackered. He kind of, on the way back, because it's not that far, he kind of started dozing off but I knew he wasn't gonna like fully sleep because it's just not far enough. So I'm probably gonna leave for the school run earlier and let him have like a, a bit of a nap or maybe a half an hour nap or something before we get the kids. Um, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good day and I just had a phone call from Violet's gymnastics teacher and they're just putting feelers out to see who would be interested to come back. So that's exciting. She said it's going to be really different though. Uh, the kids have to be on their own mat. It's going to be verbal teaching. But obviously, where as long as like her group is an older group anyway, so obviously at this age they are completely understand that what they have to do is stay on their mat and it, it's you know no equipment that sort of thing. So yeah, she's been desperate to get back to gymnastics. So hopefully that should come back in a couple of weeks. So that's exciting news. <laughs> Is that good? Tally Tabbies! <laughs> Been trying out these new, um, I say new, new for us. We only I only started using them yesterday. These little pull ups. They're from, I think they're maybe from size, size four. I reckon we could probably go up to a four plus. But they're kind of just pull up because he is so difficult to change at the moment. Um, it's all over the place. And um, yeah, they absolutely, they fit amazingly actually. And they've been working really well for the last, well, two days now we've been using them. They're kind of just stretchy. Stretchy, aren't they? Oh, you've pulled his head off. Oh God. Oh dear, poor bear. Currently got my iced coffee. I keep calling it an iced coffee because it's like a cold coffee with just some almond milk. I've just used my leftover um, coffee from my cafeteria, you know, like um, my coffee machine. Just put it in the fridge. But I don't actually have any eyes. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. And then these are amazing. They're kind of like chocolate Pringles because they look like a Pringle. But they're from Lidl. And they've kind of got like these crispy bits inside. They do lots of different flavours. This particular flavour, why is it not focusing? Yeah, this particular flavour is orange. There's some mint flavour. I think they might have a caramel flavour. But these are so good. I'm slightly addictive because they're so small. You kind of think, well, just one more, you know? Right, we've been home a while. 
It's uh, 20 past four. Graham's just walked in the door, which is amazing. He's come home early. <sighs> Alice has gone down the farm. Violet's in her room. Um, yeah, Miles is not, I'm not, I don't know why it's so blurry. Um, Miles has not really had much of a nap today. I mean, obviously he had an hour this morning. That's quite early. So he's pretty tired. Um, so am I. I'm gonna pack on my pizza in a minute. I'm gonna get Vi to help me. Dough looks really good. It's really kind of got bigger, expanded. And um, yeah, kind of get dinner on the go. Then we usually just get straight munchy, straight bath and bed. He's usually in bed by six, half past six, pretty much every night now. Just cannot stay up any longer, bless him. Yeah. And then we can have our movie night and watch, find something to watch. High five. High five. High five. Oh, you missed. High five. Right, I'm just cracking on with the pizza. And then just divide it up the two and then we just do half and half so me and Graham will share half and then the kids will share half all right everybody's coming to help do some pizza topping I've pretty much done most of it but she's been outside right my rhubarb and ginger gin these are the ones from Lidl my nice little I must admit I had a couple of glasses of red last night because me and Graham went on a bit of a date night which is really really nice um yeah woke up with a clear head which is always a bonus because obviously I don't really drink very often definitely I have not honestly drunk wine like even red wine I haven't drunk red wine at all since Christmas. So last night I fancied it, a couple of glasses, and that, you know, you never know how it's Mom. gonna react to the next day, but it was totally fine. Yep. Um, Miles didn't wake up at all last night. I know. Fabulous, isn't it? Mm. We watched Hotel Transylvania. What did you watch? Hotel Transylvania. Ooh, like that, cut the cheese up. There we go, no greenery, because who ate all the spinach? What? Yep, the rabbits. The rabbits. Got no sweet corn either. Right, okay, quick clean up. Just wipe down the sides. Can't get away from this baby, honestly. He stands here every night waiting for me. What are you doing? Can't get away from you. What is it? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Terrible song. It's got ducks in it though. Duck. Duck. It's got a little garlic dip as well. My fave. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Veggies. Cancelling movie night. Cancelling movie night? Yeah, you're uploading. It's not working. Is it not working? Oh, no. Is it not working? That's cool. It's just a bit slow, isn't it? Rubbish. <gasps> what are you doing? What have you got? Just done the clean up. I've just hoovered round. Miles in the bath. I'm gonna get him ready for bed in a minute. In a Miles! Oh, he's standing. Oh, oh. Be close up of the face. 
Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Look. Look. <gasps> yeah. Dog, a dinosaur. Got all the all the fruit in the background, the veggies. Can you see them? Got branch. yesterday got him a little monkey didn't we you a little monkey little birthday treat <laughs> 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 right, put the baby down then I just lay down and had a little power nap on cream for like half an hour, 40 minutes. Oh, it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Oh. Sorry, whispering. I just don't want to obviously wake the baby. Obviously, being on one level means that like, you can hear a lot of things, you know, obviously. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty tired. Had a little power nap. It's kind of giving me a bit of energy, randomly. We're actually going to get in the hot tub because why not? Why not? It's a Friday, I haven't used it in a week. Get the most use out of it at the moment since it's gonna get to the point where we'll have to just pack it away. So, my swimming cozy on and get in the hot tub. We've got a uh, invader. Cheers mate, you get in the hot tub, so am I. and then Violet's having the avocado these are from Home Bargains by the way I think they're about 69p each so it's waiting for Vi the showers all refreshed I thought it's going to be white why? because like on the packaging it looked white maybe Such a little face. Kind of like a bit freaky. Little avocado face. Mm. I'm gonna look ridiculous if mine's actual shark. Do you think it's a shark? Mm. I think it's that on the front. It is. It's got a white one. Touch yours on the face over here. Make sure it doesn't fall off. It's so cold. Oh, you're not that cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> she looked really scary, don't they? Mm. It's not good. Mm. How long have we got to leave it on for? Um, well, my red Ugh. one. I read mine a couple of days ago and it said like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Go <laughs> shoot. Wow. So weird. Right, we are going to bed. After we tidy up, a um, Violet knocked my jug, glass, glass jug, off the sink. So. Tidy that up. So, she got the um, same curve. 
<laughs> Breaking things. I'm good at that. I'm good at dropping cups and glasses. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog. It's like 25 past nine. Clearly, we all are very tired and need to get to bed. So I will... Sorry, the lighting's terrible. Oh. I will catch you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.